Welcome to the Sculpture Room, Friends of the Crawford Art Gallery, on this lovely, crisp autumn morning. And we're very excited because not only are we surrounded here by fantastic sculptures, but we're also here with Matthew White. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Friends of the Crawford. Thank you very much. I hope everybody can hear me very well. Um, welcome, as Michelle said, to the Sculpture Gallery, and it's wonderful to be surrounded by such an idyllic location while we're um, launching the, the Autumn Lecture Series. Um, so this morning we're going to be taking a look at some of the artwork that we have upstairs. Um, we wanted to introduce this lecture series to you in the location here um, before we go into some of the material that we're going to be looking at for the next six weeks, I believe. Yes, there's a slight change. So normally what would happen is that you'd all come in, of course, into the lecture hall and that should be happening on the 23rd of October. But this time we're going to bring it right into your own sitting room. So starting the 23rd of October for six consecutive Fridays, we're going to send the MailChimp directly out to you. So I was just talking with Matthew there a minute ago actually, because it's very coincidental. We're standing next to the Belvedere Torso and Matthew was filling me in on a sculptor that we actually went to visit last week called Michael Quain, who worked on the sculpture, on the Belvedere Torso back in the early 80s. And we have a, a lovely um, interview done with Michael on his current exhibition, Strange Beasts, that's in the Lavitt Gallery. And you're going to get that later this week. Yeah, and I mean, it was fantastic to bring it up because, we're, you know, at the, the current period, we're thinking about these sculptures more so than usual because we're just past their bicentenary um, and they've just received a, a recent restoration. So it's, we were thinking about the history and it's lovely to have that history in the 1980s, have an artist who was working on them. And even now when they've been restored, what are we, 40 years later, it's hard to imagine, um, we have that artist cropping up again. So, I mean, elements of their history seems to keep recurring and, and they're, always, they're always alive in our minds. So it's really lovely. Super. So why don't we take this upstairs? Because I believe we're going to look at the Statue of Bene. Yes. And um, we're going to check out some of the artworks upstairs. <laughs> 